mailbag time and we've got an item from Matthew Shoup W6OUT. Let's have a look inside. This actually arrived a few weeks ago and it's only today that I've got around to actually using the item contained within. In the packet some crystals. Not just any crystals because these aren't very useful frequencies. These are the frequencies you get in your pack of six crystals. On 7 MHz, 70386 is whisper frequency, 7074 is FT8, and 7078 JS8. On 14 MHz, 14074 is FT8, 14078 is JS8, and 14956 is whisper. As you can see, these are small format crystals and the frequency is readable on the top of the can. This is the test receiver I'll use to see how the crystals go for receiving FT8 on 7 MHz. It's a very simple direct conversion receiver. There are two boards. This is a two transistor board that has a crystal oscillator and a buffer stage. This board here is the product detector and a one transistor audio amplifier. That provides more than enough gain to go into the computer sound card. The whole unit is run by a 9 volt battery, though if you're clever you could possibly also run it off your computer's USB port. This is a close-up of the crystal. I've got it in series with the variable capacitor. The reason for that is I already had the variable capacitor on the front panel and it's in series with the crystal so it allows me to adjust the crystal to be spot on frequency. I'll give you a circuit of this later on. I should point out this is a very simple direct conversion receiver. There will be reception of signals on the opposite sideband, so it won't be as good as a single signal receiver. Nevertheless, it gives good results, as you'll see in a moment. We've got the receiver set up. This is an FT817 on 7074. I've adjusted the IF shift so that you can hear zero beats better than normal. Anyway, the important thing is to get a zero beat by adjusting the variable capacitor in series with the crystal. It pulls its frequency slightly and you want a null. So that you just go above and below and eventually you reach a spot where you don't hear anything. I've got the WSJTX software set up and it's just before sunset where there's some good conditions on 40 meters. And as you can see a fair number of stations are being received on FT8. Some of them are from the other side of the world. So that's FT8. Next thing I'll do is I'll put in another crystal, 70386, and see how the setup goes on Whisper. Whisper is a little bit more critical as regards frequency stability. Most of the stations are within VKZL, but there's also some DX like KG5WR. And here's the receiver going on JS8. A few signals around, the furthest picked up is ZL. And here's some of the traffic received. As you can see from the results, really good, even with a super simple receiver. They're good value at $12 US for six crystals.